Hey guys, what's going on? You got uh, Matt here, coach of the London Luxray, and I'm here to bring you my Week 9 Team Builder versus the Bump and Dump, which is Brandon. Now this is a very important game because I'm 4-3 and three as of now, he is 5-2. and two. I can either go 50-50 throughout the first half, or I can tie Brandon. And in doing so, that leaves Sean first place, instead of having two 6 and 2 people. Um, so I did have a lot of help from Sean building this team because I did look at his team and he literally, I don't know if it was an accident or on purpose, but, um, if this is his, the tops his team and basically he has a lot of counters and well, I mean, checks to what I picked. What I mean by this is, um... Keldio gets um, gets wrecked by Delphox and where is it? Delphox, Braviary, um, by Rotom. It can't touch Rotom that well. Garchomp gets wrecked by um, can get wrecked by Heatran. Um, Air Bloom doesn't help, but uh, he's got his Heracross, which hits really hard. I can't really touch Heracross that well. Actually, I can, and you'll see. Um, but Hidden Power Ice um, can be thrown in stuff like Frisian. Um, it's just, there's just so much that could happen with um, Garchomp. And where's my third one? Um, it's not showing it. It's Scissor. So there is Scissor too. And that gets wrecked by Heatran. Gets wrecked by Delphox. Delphox, I very much expect him to bring these two. Delphox and Krukatile just because of the fact that Crocodile does really well against Tentacruel. It allows me not to Volt Switch with Jolteon. It wrecks Reuniclus. Um, knock Off is always good. It, it, when it switches in, it usually is going to be killing something, especially with that Dark type. Um, I guess I, I do have Keldeo. Unless, it, unless it's Scarfed, I have Keldeo. But... And then now with Delphox, if it's Scarfed, which it most likely will be, knowing Brandon, um, Scissor gets wrecked, Keldeo gets wrecked, Hidden Power Ice means Garchomp gets wrecked. Um, Grass Knot means Rhydon gets um, wrecked. Um, x -Bla like all my Pokemon will take a lot from it. So it really was a hard team builder to make. Um, pro uh, thanks to Sean for helping me out a bit. Uh, it was funny because the first Pokemon he mentioned to uh, bring was Keldeo. Which is ironic because Keldeo is fighting for one of those top spots on the leaderboard. But I think Brandon said it the best. The other battle, it's not at the end of the day, it's about um, winning the game as a team, not who has the most kills on your team. So, yeah, Keldeo, I don't expect it, it, it can do some damage, but it's not the whole goal. Um, so, starting it off, I get Keldeo here. Um, ironically, no Scald or Surf, no water moves at all. Um, just because water didn't help us much, or oh, help me much. Me and Sean were just building it like an hour ago, so um, I kept referring to Wii. But um, Secret Sword is going to hit a lot of things. Hidden Power Flying is going to hit a lot of things. And the only things that are stopped by it is our Delphox, Rotom, Cresselia, maybe Braviary, and Claydol. Yeah, and Hamfrost. So there's... I guess that's about half the team, but I mean, it hits a lot of the things that I want to hit. It speed ties Rizian hitting it. Um, it hits a light power trying to switch in. Um, but overall, like, after one calm mind boost, most things are dying to it. Um, the next Pokemon I got is a Selgor. Oh, and then, like, it does have Toxic because we couldn't, like, I feel Toxic would be better off against this team because with Cresselia with Rotom, um, two things that wall Keldeo, I find that it might be better off to toss a Toxic out there and catch Brandon off guard. Um, and the next Pokemon. This is most likely going to be my lead. Uh, looking at his team, he's only got two forms of hazard removal, and that's Heat Run. Not, what am I doing? I'm, I'm confused right now. It's, uh, it's Braviary and it's Claydol. Um, Claydol, I really doubt he's bringing against me. If he does, like, that's a free Pokemon I don't have to worry about. Because it's just going to 
do its rapid spinning thing, maybe throw off some earth, maybe throw off some stealth rocks, you know. But I mean, I've got, I've got a fair amount of things that um, don't even don't stress about it. Especially like scissor, I switch scissor in, and I either get I get healed up or I can throw off knockoffs. I mean like, yeah. But a cell core is gonna be my lead. Um, the spikes is really important. The final gambit can be important. It does kill both Heatran and it, and Rotom, and it can do a lot of damage. Um, the only problem is I don't want to happen what, what happened against Chris, where I clicked it, he switched out, and I killed the wrong thing, because I'm gonna need this. Basically, I'm gonna need at least one layer of spikes up just so for just for Keldeo, extra insurance for it to do its thing. But um, but overall, I think um. This would probably be my best best lead. Well, unless he leads scarfed here, <laughs> scarfed heat run like Sean did when we were testing it out. Um, Giga Drain can give me some health back just so that final gambit does more damage. Uh, it also hits the Rotom, which is some which is good. Third Pokemon um, again a weird thing is I'm not running Bullet Punch. Uh, the priority was good. Like it is, but Amphros, Heat Run, uh, doesn't do much against Cresselium. Heracross, I think, might resist it. Rotom resists it. Uh, Delphox resists it. Like, there's so many things resisting it. Like, there's no real need for um, a Swords Dancing, Bullet Punching, Scissor this battle. If anything, um, it's going to be more of a defensive pivot. Plus, Cresselia, it has to be running a Hidden Power Fire to touch it. Um, he might on Hidden Power Fire. That would be smart on Brandon, but then, then again, it's giving up a slot because you want Moonlight. You, you want a Psychic, you probably want your Psychic move. Um, what else? He would run T-Wave or Toxic, um, if he wants. He could run, like, um, he could run a screening set with Reflect and Light Screen, but overall, Scissor is just gonna just keep knocking off and then Knock off U turn between that, it should do well. And if he switches in something like Delphox, breaks this, knocks the, the uh, choice scarf off of it. And Aerial Ace does Oko Heracross, technician boosted, and Roost is just because it allows me to 1v1 Cresselia so well. Um, other than that, yeah. Um, and also, the U turn will be important just because I know Brandon likes, likes to switch a little. So if I'm if it's if I switch my scissor into Cresselia, I'll probably go with the knockoff first and then hard switch out. But the next time it happens, I might go for the U turn and get some momentum. Um, yeah. So the fourth fourth Pokemon I got, Garchomp. Um, I was really wanting to run a offensive set, like a banded or a. Um, a sword dancing Garchomp, but I was I think it was kind of because I watched Pokemon in his battle. He had a sword dancing Garchomp, but um, I don't want to get locked into something like Earthquake against a Rotom or um, try to predict and get locked into like an Outrage against a Heron. It d will do really well, especially if some of his threats die. But with this speed, I would speed everything but um, Delphox, Lipard, and Virizion. And between Rock Slide, Earthquake, and Crunch, I have good coverage over most of his Pokemon. And then get my Stealth Rocks up. Um, that Stealth Rocks will be very important in this battle because Delphox is a huge threat to my team. When it comes in, like I've got to play a guessing game. Do I go Scissor expecting, say, a Hidden Power Ice or a Psychic or um, a Grass Knot? Or do I just keep going Arcanine and hope he doesn't have like a Hidden Power Water or something like that? Which I think Arcanine will be my safer play, but um, it's just having to it prevent it, it puts Delphox on because on a timer because he's not gonna have much recovery at all unless he goes leftovers, um, calm mindset. But the fact that it's it only gets four switchins, um, with a layer of spikes up that's less than four switchins, it gets like three shots, um, will be important in um allowing Keldeo and Scissor free reign this battle. 
Um, cause I will need scissor a lot. Cause like the Cresselia scares me. If I still had Tornadus, it wouldn't at all. Cause I have a fast taunting offensive Pokemon. But the fact that I've got to worry about Cresselia, that's bulky. Plus Heatran, plus Crocodile. He's got a lot of threats. Um, the good thing about Garchomp though is it's going to be my switch into Lipard. Um, a foul playing Lipard won't do as much. It'll take damage from the rough skin. Um, Lipard allows me to get my rocks up easy. Allows me to throw off uh, a crunch expecting the Cresselia switch or the Heatran um, air balloon. And that's going to be important, breaking that air balloon. Which it, Stealth Rocks doesn't do. But um, as long as that he has that balloon, um, Garchomp can't really do much to Heatran. And I was going to run an Arcanine set with Hidden Power Ground Flamethrower, but again, it gets completely shut down by Heatran until that balloon's popped. So, um, I might have to play around it a bit, but, um, uh, because he does a lot of levitating stuff, including the air, one air balloon, it's five Pokemon will, would be able to avoid an earthquake. Um, my fourth Pokemon, or my fifth Pokemon, I got Arcanine here. I haven't nicknamed them. I'll have to do that before I forget. Um, Morning Sun, Flare Blitz, Close Combat, Roar. Um, I haven't really been talking about the EVs, I don't think. Let's see if there's any important ones. No. This allows me to speed tie for Um This allows me to outspeed for Izzian. Allows me It allows me to outspeed a non-invested adamant Heracross. Um, if he's running a Jolly Heracross, that's max health it's uh, I take like 70 from a close combat if he's running an invested speed um hair across adamant he does outspeed me obviously but I do take the hit and aerial ace just kills um here the 176 plus speed allows me to outspeed crocodile I can't outspeed Delphox up up anyways so, you know, I may as well just uh, take the L and go with uh, 312 speed. The rest I threw into attack. That way, um, that way, like I, I do hit a little, like uh, kind of hard. It's not, it's not like this Garchomp won't hit that hard, but at least it's gonna do stuff. Like I said, pop the balloon. Um, it's gonna, it could drop Cresselia's defense with Crunch. Um, it just and then rock the um, the stealth rocks, rock slide. We were playing around. We had um. We like we we went with what did we go with? We went with Aerial Ace again, just because they had Frisian and um, Heracross. But like, for someone who's played basketball, I've got really narrow vision, and I'm only looking at Pokemon like Heracross and Cresselia. Um, because I have Scissor and I have Keldeo with moves that can take on Heracross and Cresselia now, so I shouldn't have to worry about them. So like. Especially with the aerial ace, there's no need for a third aerial ace, to be honest, um, or a third flying move. Uh, I might I might regret that later in the game. Depends on how the game goes, but you know, uh, I'm feeling I'm feeling this should work. It worked better because it this this way I can hit Braviary and scare it out. But um, let's drop some. But I had a thought to shoot and it disappeared. Uh, whatever. This Arcanine's defensive, um, Intimidate, because, uh, Heracross, it allows me to check to that. Uh, I do outspeed a adamant, a fully invested adamant Heracross, I do outspeed. Um, if he decides to go Jolly, or wait, do I, I outspeed one or the other. I either outspeed a fully invested adamant, or a uninvested Jolly. Maybe both. Who knows? But um, that way I can take a hit and I can go for a Flare Blitz and kill him. Um, or force him to go for like... I'll force him to go for a Rock Blast or a second Close Combat to kill me. Uh, I'm, this is assuming... I, I think I take a Rock Blast too. I think it does like 70 to 80. But... Um, you know, at least I'll be able to, and then he might switch in something and I won't do much, and then 
I won't take as much recoil, but between leftovers and like the morning sun after that, it should be able to be a reliable um, hair cross switching once, like after once, I doubt it. But I mean, I, I think I only need the one time. It also is um, naturally everything that Del Fox will want to run, uh, Arcanine resists move wise. So like if I were to guess Del Fox's moves, they would be a fire move, grass knot, because I, I do have ride on. Um, and he has run Grass Knot, a Psychic move, and a Fairy move, or Hidden Power Ice. All He might run Hidden Power Ground or Water, but I mean, I think the Hidden Power Ice is more more valuable to him. So, uh, so I can take, I think about 50% from a Psychic. I can live to, um, you know, I'm gonna, oh, the music stopped. Wrong thing, wrong thing. I don't know how to. I don't know how to continuously, but off the find us um, at uh, baby steps, you know. But um, getting better, trying to get better videos. But uh, and my final Pokemon got Tentacruel here. Uh, he's fully special defensive, which means I can take hits from Delphox minus a Psy Shock. Um. If he has Psy Shock, then Arcanine does so well against Delphox. Um, Psychic, um, Arcanine takes like the 50. So this won't really be used to t take on Delphox unless I know what move it went. Like if it didn't go for a Psychic move, I can switch this in as a, a check. Um, and we got Scald, Toxic, Rapid Spin, and Knock Off. We did have... I was thinking of Toxic Spikes, but just the fact that Looking at his team, I expect him to bring Rotom, a balloon Heracross, even not even if it's not a balloon, it's a steel type, um, Cresselia, and if he brings Braviary slash Claydol for the hazard, that's four Pokemon, that um yeah four Pokemon just to make just so you know four Pokemon that um they they don't aren't affected by the toxic spikes, and I expect three or at least two if he doesn't bring two of them, I'll be shocked, but I expect at least two of those Pokemon to show up. Most likely three, maybe four, um, which means Toxic is just a much better option. I do have Scald. Um, I can throw it off. Uh, does damage. Gets gets a burn or two. If he decides to switch into, say, Heracross, I can... Because a burn would be great on Heracross. Um, oh yeah, didn't mention this, but all this is based off of him bringing Mega Heracross. I might edit a bit of fan a few things if he decides not to bring Mega Heracross, but at this point it is Saturday night, and uh, I I I I asked him what he was bringing. Uh, he have, if he had an idea, and he said he didn't have an idea, but I was too antsy. He wanted to team build because this is a very important battle, so I just I built it as if he's bringing Mega Heracross. Because honestly, like look at this, look, look at my team. What's my switch into Mega Heracross? Keep looking. Like, like you may actually, you may as well stop because you're not gonna find one. Um, like he just completely just destroys me with a close combat, and if he doesn't destroy me with a close combat, he follows it up with a pin missile, bullet seed, or even rock blast. I think they get he gets. Um, so yeah, like I I'm really worried about the Heracross, but I think between Garchomp, Arcanine. And scissor, yeah, I'll throw a scissor into there. I can take it on. Um, I might not want to switch scissor in onto the hit because I I don't know if he's how fast he is. Uh, I might be able to calc if he's adamant or not at some point, but um, until I know that, like until I know that he's not, because I in order for me to kill him with scissor. He need scissor needs to be full health, or it needs to be able to outspeed him. So, if I can't, if I don't want to switch in and realize I can't outspeed him and just lose my, my check to him, so it's gonna be relying a lot on Garchomp taking the hit and then Arcanine, lowering its attack. I don't have Willow. Um. I do have Roar just in case he decides to do a Calm Mind Cresselia. Um. And yeah, that's it's a possibility. Uh, 
he did bring it once, but he also brought a Rocky helmet, which he probably won't bring into my team, because nothing really makes contact with Cresselia. And I have knockoff, to, if it happens, if he has leftovers, if he has light clay, whatever he decides to bring, it's going to be gone. But yeah, um, that's my team. We are, like I said, we're four and three. We um, were two and three a couple weeks ago, but I think that I think from then we had a we had a break. Um, I don't know if we had it earlier or later, but um, since that uh, that loss uh, over the Thanksgiving reading week, we have stepped our game up. We're now we got the, we're now two and zero oh from then. And let's make it three and oh. Uh Good luck, Bren. Um, but yeah, you're you're going down. I'm, I'm I got I, I'm I'm feeling confident in this team. Uh, a lot more confident than when I first started looking at it because, like I said, there's just his stuff checks mine naturally, and it's just if if I end up facing him in the playoffs, that's gonna be rough. Because honestly, I don't know how I can I'm gonna beat him a second time in the second half of the season let alone um, three times in a row, or two out of three times in a playoff game. But yeah, to, um, until next week, because right, technically it's week eight, I will see you later.